You're watching Good Morning Europe, our top story from jail to jihad. Belgium is facing questions over the release of an allegedly radicalized convict just days before he killed three people in a suspected terrorist attack. One was a mother of twins. Now, long before news crews arrived on the scene of the attack in Belgium, a lot of videos, a lot of images were appearing on social media. Now, our team in the Cube, our social media news desk, you've been tracking this story, Alex, right? Absolutely, Tessa. So, as of about 10.35 Central European time yesterday, our team here, who are monitoring all social media platforms, started noticing activity coming from uh, Liège in Belgium. So, and uh, that roughly, now we know, tallies with the official time the incident began. Police and authorities there saying around 10.30. Now, the first things we started seeing were text posts, but then the, we started seeing videos coming through. So if I just run you through how that attack unfolded, one of the first videos we were able to check and verify was from a man called Victor. Uh, Emmanuel spoke with him. He is a student. Uh, living just up the street from where the attack took place. He said he put his head out the window, he heard sirens, and then in his video, which he shared on Twitter, you can hear gunshots. Let's just uh, pull that up for you now and have a listen in. So you can hear that, a succession of gunshots there in that video. That video posted um, by Victor. Then we spoke to an eyewitness uh, called Dylan, who um, was standing opposite uh, at his bus stop, opposite the cafe where the attack on the two police officers took place. He described to us seeing the aftermath of an attack, seeing two officers on the ground. Um, we were then able to trace the route that the attacker took from that cafe here, about a minute's walk up to the school where he briefly took a hostage uh, before there was a, a shootout with police. Now, we're, we used uh, satellite imagery to have a look at the frontage of that school building so we could compare it with the videos and the photos we were seeing, which uh, purported to show the confrontation with police. We had a look at this frontage here, uh, and then we compared that with a video that was um, shared to us. We have spoke to every individual who posted these videos. Um, and this video here, it's ever so slightly blurry. Obviously, this is taken during a live incident, but this um, is identified as the front of that school with police officers, um, ever so small figures in this screen here, but moving in this just moments before the final confrontation with the gunman. We cleared these videos, we geolocated them, we checked the time codes to make sure that what we present to you here in the Cube and on Euronews is uh, the fact. So the latest there, looking back on the timeline from yesterday. Great stuff, Alex and the Cube team. Thank you. The Hungarian parliament is set to vote on a bill that would criminalize individuals or groups helping illegal migrants. If the so-called Stop Soros bill passes next week, those offering information and even food could face one-year prison sentences. The new rules would put NGOs and rights activists at risk of having their work outlawed in the country. The hit U.S. comedy Roseanne has been axed by the television network ABC. This after the lead actress Roseanne Barr posted a tweet that is being called racist. NBC's Ann Thompson reports. A stunningly swift and dramatic end to Roseanne Barr's TV show. Yeah, it's against the law because your generation made everything so PC. ABC canceling the hit revival after Barr tweeted this about former President Obama's advisor Valerie Jarrett. Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had a baby equals VJ. ABC Entertainment President Channing Dungey calling Barr's words abhorrent, repugnant, and inconsistent with our values. Jarrett responding exclusively on MSNBC special Everyday Racism. First of all, I think we have to turn it into a teaching moment. I'm fine. I'm worried about all the people out there who don't have a circle of friends and followers who come right to their defense. Roseanne Barr made her name being brash, funny, and coarse. Thank you for making America great again. Her return to network TV welcomed by 18 million viewers and President Trump. Look at Roseanne. I called her yesterday. Look at her ratings. On Twitter, Barr promoted conspiracy theories and attacked Democratic women, Nancy Pelosi, Chelsea Clinton, even making a similar comment about Obama's national security advisor, Susan Rice, in 2013. Still, ABC stood by Barr until now. Networks should be more careful about who they allow uh, to top their most prestigious shows. And there should be an understanding of where the line is and that open racism is not tolerated. 
Before the cancellation, Barr apologized in two tweets, calling her remarks a bad joke and saying, I should have known better. It wasn't enough. Today, Roseanne Barr learned words do matter. And Thompson reporting there. And still to come for you on Good Morning Europe, ancient bones reveal new secrets about Pompeii. The Cube has amazing pictures. But before that, your weather.